Hi friends, in this video tutorial, I will explain the concept of how to configure static NAT. Static NAT is an one to one mapping, that is, one private IP address can be translated into one public IP address. It is a manual configuration. Let's we can see in this topology we have two network, two different network. One is ABC is an uh, one of the organization and XYZ is an another organization. So both organization can be connected to ISPF. How the data can be sent to the one organization to another organization? Let's we can see in private IP address in ABC network we can use the private IP address range 10.10.10.0 10 24 so subnet mask is slash 24 so 256 IPs are we can use in ABC organization in that two IP we cannot assign to the host one is net ID and another one is an direct broadcast address remaining 254 address can be assigned to the host in XYZ organization, we can assign the private IP address 10.10.10. level. So here also, sorry, 10.10. level.0. So here also on this last 24. So here we can use 256 IP address. Here also we can use two. We cannot assign two IP to the host. One is NetID and another one is direct broadcast address. Remaining 254 IP address can be assigned to the host. In WAN network, that is in ISPF, ISP, Internet Service Provider. So in public network, we can assign the IP address 75.75.75.0 slash 24. So here also we can use 254 IP address. Let's we can assign the IP address to ABC organization. 10.10.10.2 one can be assigned as in default gateway so subnet mask is 255.255.0 and default gateway is 10 10.10.1 so the default gateway is common for all the host in the ABC organization Ten dot ten dot ten dot three subnet mask is 255.255.0 default gateway is 10.10.10.1 10 10 10 10 10 10 10.10.10.4 subnet mask is 255.255.0 default gateway is 10.10.10.1 10 10 10 now the default gateway can be assigned the router 0 can be connected to switch 0 so in that interface we can assign the default gateway IP address so go to that router privilege mode here we can go to the global mode in global mode we can go to that particular port interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 now we can assign the IP address IP space address 10.10.10.1 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 no shutdown exit now the, now the IP address can be assigned to the ABC organization now we can assign the IP address to XYZ organization so the private IP address range is 10.10.0 .10 network that's we can assign 10.10.2 one can be taken as default gateway Subnet mask is 255.255.0 Default gateway is 1 It is common for all the hosts in the XYZ organization 3 Subnet mask is 255.255.0 Default gateway is 10.10.11.1 4 subnet mask is 255.255.0 default gateway is 10.10.11.1 .10 now router 1 can be connected to switch 1 so in that interface we can assign the default gateway IP address so go to that particular interface enable in privilege mode we can go to the global mode in global mode we can go to that particular interface interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 here we can assign the IP address IP space address 
so 10.10.11.1 Subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 no shutdown exit now both organization we can assign the IP address now we can assign the IP address to the public network so go to that particular interface interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 here we can assign the IP address IP space address 75.75.75 sorry 75. 1 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 no shutdown this is an dcn so in dcn we can apply the clock rate clock space rate is 64000 exit this is an dtn so in DTN we cannot apply the clock rate interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP space address 75.75.75.2 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 no shutdown exit okay now we can assign the IP address to ABC organization and XYZ organization and public network also now we can use the routing protocol so here we can use the EAGRP routing protocol so go to the router